Hello friends. Today we will talking about the environment impact assessment. This lecture was provided by the ASS Science Foundation Dev. And the today's topic is environment impact assessment. We will talking about what is the environment impact assessment and why it is important. The environment environment impact assessment can be defined as the study to predict the effect of a proposed activity or a project on the environment. Thus, this is it is a decision making tool. This means that whatever the developmental projects like mining, agriculture, roads, they all projects require EIA. Means we have EIA predict the, the impact of these development proper, development projects on the environment in order to get mitigation and measures to protect our environments and their surroundings. This study compares various alternatives for the projects and identify the one which is represent the best combination of economic and in, in, economic environmental cost and benefit. It is a systematically examine both beneficial and adverse consequences of the project and ensure that these projects are these effects are taken into the account during project design. Thus, EIA help in predicting the positive and the negative impact of the developmental project so that we can take measures or some alternatives to prevent the environment and also this help in project designing. Okay. Let us talk about what are the benefits of EIA. Why do we need EIA? Yeah. As the EIA consider the effects and the mitigation in the project planning. As I already say, they study the all the positive and the impact of the environment and suggest mitigation in the project planning so that our environment get protected or development the project is needed to we can all, all we can so that we can implement the project also this give us benefits like protection of the protection of the environment optimize utilization of the resources saving time and cost of the project reduce conflict by promoting community participation this means that we involve public also and EIA know they uh, consider their views and after that suggest some mitigations or measures to implement the projects. Okay. Now, this is the benefits of the EIA. Let's talk about the origin of EIA. How this EIA environmental impact assessment is originated. From where and how. EIA as a mandatory regulatory procedure originated in early 90s with the impli implication of implementation of policy act NEPA. NEPA is National Environment Policy Act in 1969 in USA. First EIA is mandatory in USA in 1969 and in 1989, the World Bank adopted EIA for major development projects in which borrower countries who need money, who borrow money from the World Bank have to undertake the EIA under the bank supervision. This means that the country which need money from the World Bank for this some kind of development project has to provide EIA for that project to the World Bank. It's kind of, uh, it's, uh, it's a step for the protection of the environment or World Bank should know that they are taking money for the development projects and also take care of their environment. Okay. This is first EIA is come in USA. Now, when did it came in India? EIA in India. On 24 January, 
1994 ministry of environment forest and climate change under the epa epa's environmental protection act 1986 notify that eia making environmental clearance mandatory for expansion and modernization of any activity or for setting up the new project listed in schedule 1 of the notification this mean that in from 1994 onwards in the, all the environmental new in developmental projects or existing projects which need expansion require environmental clearance from the government the higher authority central government and the state government they need eia 